And why? Because Leviticus tells us. Jesus is the first fruits of the of the first feast of first fruits, right? Uh, and you shall reap the harvest thereof. You shall bring in a sheaf of the first fruits. Look at this. This is Jesus, the beginning. Hebrews seventy two twenty five. That's the word beginning, in in the beginning. And what does it have? Uh, da, 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 where is it? It's the one without leaven, right? Uh, where is it? Accepted to you on the morrow after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. Lamb without blemish. And watch when we get to Feast of Weeks. From tomorrow after the day, he brought in the sheaf of the wave offering seven Sabbaths. Okay, not just simple seven days of the week count. Seven Sabbaths shall be complete, even unto the morrow. So the day after the seventh Sabbath, shall you begin to number, right? Shall you number 50 days? We've covered this many times, okay? If it was the 50th day, it would have said 50th day, just like it did with these other days over here, okay? 15th day, 13th day. If it was only meant to be 50th, it would have said, then shall you number the 50th day. It doesn't. So what does it say to do when you shall begin to number these 50 days? It says, you shall offer a new meat offering unto the Lord, and you shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves and two tenth deals. They shall be a fine flour. They shall be bacon, listen to this, with leaven. With leaven. Jesus didn't have leaven. We have leaven. And what are they called? They are the first fruits. You see that? The first fruits, 1061. We've been doing videos on this for four years. Jesus is the feast of first fruits, 75, 72, 25. We are the first fruits, 1061. This is why in Exodus 34, 22, Jesus said, in verse 20, or, uh, the word said in 26 that he is the first of the first fruits. He is the beginning of the first fruits. So how, if he is the beginning, how can these be also the beginning in the feast of first fruits? They're not. The feast of first fruits, brothers and sisters, is the feast of weeks. And the Feast of Weeks is not Pentecost. The Feast of Weeks is for the first fruits of the wheat harvest. All right? Man, these are all things we've taught on. These are all things we've taught on again. Exodus 34:22. And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks of the first fruits of the wheat harvest and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. So where's this year's end now, right? This is now we're going to we're going to look into a little bit more detail in a moment. 